In COVID, I bought a jet. In COVID, the third, I have three, the third one. In COVID, God said you must use a plane. There's no scripture where he said you must use a plane. I'm not against living a lavish lifestyle. But if you are a pastor, the core mandate on this planet Earth is to spread the word of God. That is to letting people to get salvation for their soul. That is the work as a pastor you have to do. If you are a pastor and you think God has called you, you have to be very careful about ways and means you let your private lives to be seen to be. Because a lot of people are judgmental. And if you are a Christian and you really want to know if this pastor is from God, you have to listen very well what I'm about to say. The person has to be talking about Christ. The person don't have to talk about his lifestyle. Don't have to talk about the money he's having in the bank account. Don't have to talk about his personal lives. All glory and everything is based on Christ, but not based on that pastor or wife or family or situation that he has overcome. And a pastor has to believe in the water baptism and the spirit gospel. That is the authentic word of God. That you get to know that this pastor is preaching about Christ, but this pastor is trying to give us doctrine that is not in the Bible. I'm going to show you a quick video from the camp of Apostle Johnson Suleiman. He recently said that he's having a private jet. Let's listen to what he said in this video. In COVID, I bought a jet. In COVID. The third, I have three. The third one. In COVID. I was praying for COVID not to end because I was resting. Why people were complaining? I was, my wife asked me, say, can life be this sweet? Am I talking to somebody here? No stress. I read on, on the net, was it yesterday? Somebody sent it to me. There's a rumor going around that I have a machine that prints money. I like that rumor. Is it good for a man of God to have a private jet? I said, for what? When there are hungry people in the church, people are suffering in the church. Some of you may have heard me say that. Some of you may have read it on the newspaper. When people are suffering, hunger. I mean, no, no, no. That money gives to widows. They say, what if somebody offers to buy it? I say, it doesn't matter. Carry the money. Give to widows. Carry this. Give to this. Nobody should buy it. Jet, it is wrong. Nobody at that period, a popular man of God had a jet, and the man of God was angry. He felt I was referring to him. I did not remember him at that point. If I remember him, I would have been a little bit careful, but I did. I was just speaking as how can you buy a plane when people have not paid their rent, people have not eaten. It is rubbish. Hey, many years later, I will go to the airport and I'm about to fly to go for a program. And while I'm waiting, they say flight cancelled i was going to a country i actually missed the flight i had to travel through five countries to enter that country i got there the last day of the program they were almost actually rounding up i just showed myself i felt like crying that is even too far i was in lagos i landed on a saturday and i landed in the afternoon i was waiting for flight to benin 3 30. i waited it was shifted to four it was shifted to 4 30. it was shifted to five 5 30 cancelled six p.m in the evening i entered the road saturday coming to Auchi. i got here sunday 3 a.m i got here 3 a.m i was almost crying and i was coming to church and i was tired if i had come to church that day and shown i was tired some of you start praying papa is under attack holy ghost fire papa is under attack papa is under attack it was not attack i was tired i managed to minister when i got home i crashed on the bed my wife locked the door and said, rest, 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 rest. Ah, and the Lord asked me, is private jet good? I said, Oluwa, oh, Oluwa, And the Lord said to me, no, don't, don't feel bad. That's why I love the Holy Spirit. When you want to judge and condemn yourself, it just comforts you. I was getting, he said, my son, calm down. You said what you said years ago because you were not at that level. He says, say, those who are not at that, how come Papa de Boye? How come keep quiet? Let's let all you have now is data, data, subscription. That's what you have. You are talking nonsense. Nonsense. D data, that's all you have. We are already seeing what you will do if you have access to something. All you have is subscription and you are running your mouth saying nonsense. There is nobody in this world that cannot be advised. I'll be stupid to say I don't care what people say. I would only care if people say it rightly. 
If you are angry and mention three jets, you will just die. That's the truth. Because when I built school and gave to government, you didn't talk about it. When I built prison and gave government, you didn't talk about it. When I constructed a federal road, you didn't talk about it. When I built houses and gave to widows, you didn't talk about it. When I bought transformers for community, when there was no light, there was no noise like this. You didn't talk about it. When, when I have people in my church who are graduates, no job, I put them on salary. Waiting for jobs to come. Nobody is debating it. Then you are angry because I mentioned jet. You never vex. You never vex. If you cannot, if you cannot commend me, you cannot condemn me. The people I will listen to are those who commended my good works. When they now correct me, say, man of God, don't say this next time. I will listen to them. But apart from that, all bloggers and all newspapers, rubbish. God will only be angry with me if I take offering and tithe to buy plane. But if I have avenues of God blessing me and I do anything, what's your business? Is your money missing? That I should go and do road. Am I government? Did you vote me to power? I should go and do road. Do road. If I'm doing road, I'm doing road because I want to do it. Not because that's called public service. Public service is for those who hold public office. I don't want public office. Why do you tell me I go do road? What do you concern me? Concern you. you vote for me. Apart from taking care of the poor, I have no other life. The life I live is about the poor. So you can't tell me about the poor. A wise man doesn't speak because he has to say something. A wise man speaks because he has something to say. I heard people talking about aircraft and all of that, oh, plane jet. It's not a big deal. Some years ago, I told our people, I said, well, our church is going to get to a point where we have free buses, 70 seaters, 80 seaters that will carry members home for free. You know, to go home for free, they'll carry them home. And people are like, ah, oh. the buses came. It was not a big deal. God told me we're going to have our own airlines, aircraft hangers that will carry members for free members are going to abuja there'll be a plane to elip them members are going to for free so if you're complaining about one jet i don't know what you're going to do when you're 20. i don't know what you're going to do when you're 30. so please keep your capacity keep your gunpowder because you may need it when the plane gets to 50. we're just starting i know you finished watching and listening to what he said he was trying to say this and he was trying to say that all about the private jets you have to get it so that you can leave early because of the flight being cancelled that is his own opinion and the main reason why he got himself a private jet i'm going to show you a quick video from pastor chris he asked a question did god told pastors to use private jets that was what pastor chris was trying to let us understand let's listen to what he said philip the evangelist was transported and was found at Azotus. do you remember in the bible he was transported but many of you came here in a bus or in a car today. Why didn't you wait for the Holy Spirit to transport you from your hotel to this place? Tell me. You, you could have come all the way without getting on the airplane. Like Philip. You just say, I'm going by the Holy Spirit when he carries me. But you use the instrument. You use the plane. Did God say you must use a plane? There's no scripture where he said you must use a plane. So if he doesn't transport you by his spirit like that, you will use the next instrument that is available. Amen. Is that right? Yes. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If God doesn't specifically say, this is what you're going to do, because he overrules. I mean, he's boss. Okay? He's boss. He can say, this is how I want you to do this. Then you follow. And start walking in that direction. But until then. Use what he gave you. Are you hearing me? Use what he gave you. How did you dress yourself this evening? Did the Holy Spirit put his jacket on you? Did the Holy Spirit knot your tie? Did he put your shoes on your feet? No. You used your mind. The same way you used your mind there is what I'm telling you. You can use your mind to multiply your finances. Do you know that 
There's so many people who don't even know how much they have. So they can't even say, I want to multiply. What do you want to multiply? Where are you? Can you see it? You have to know where you are to know where you want to go. So, all right, where are you now? And what do you want to do? You've heard what he said, and what he said is really making sense. But the most important thing is, are those pastors really preaching about salvation? Are those pastors really eager and hungry for souls, for them to be at the right side of God, or for them to be in heaven? You need to be very careful. A lot of pastors are using the churches for business. That's what I've been saying on this platform that believe in the water baptism and the spirit gospel so that your soul will be saved. Read the Bible yourself for you to know what is in the Bible. If you don't understand, let the Holy Spirit teach you so that you can understand and take very good care of yourself. And don't sell your soul for any pastor, for the pastor to send you to hell. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you another time.